SEC seemed to be on a knife edge. What exactly happened? So the Winklevoss uh, twins have been out for three years trying to create this new ETF, an ETF that would represent the, the price of, of, of Bitcoin. But it would, uh, in a certain sense, give a lot more people access to trade this thing and put a lot more money potentially into trading it. But it also would have put money into their pocket. So the ETF would have had money to spend mm. to buy Bitcoin. So just depending on the size of that offering, and that changed over time, they would have been able to go into the Bitcoin market and acquire Bitcoin, actual Bitcoin, as a backstop to the proxy that is traded as an ETF. When that big buyer who was thought to get approved, and of course the Bitcoin people all believing it, disappeared from the market with a press release today right after the close, Bitcoin of course was trades around the clock, sold off like crazy. Bitcoin is up about, off about 23%. Uh, it was very, Maximum just crazy meeting. trading, very actively trading. And when it, when, it, when it turned around, now it's come back, now it's only down about 8% right now as you showed in your chart. Uh, recovering from those first sales, but uh, a big surprise, I think, to the Bitcoin community. Let's just show the viewers what it's done in the one-year basis as well, though, because this is a volatile asset, as we know. It's down, but it's 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 still, you know, just as high as we were seeing just back in early February. So how much euphoria was built into this asset about the ETF? I think what it shows more is that it's not so much about a fundamental uh, belief in the value of it in terms of day-to-day -day trading. It is very volatile because a little bit of trading can move the price a lot. It's not a very deep market. So when you blow through the couple of uh, sellers who are there in the market, all of a sudden you see the price drop a lot because the next next ticks, the next uh, uh, bids for the for the uh, for the, 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 the that are for sale of Bitcoin are so far below the current price because the market's so thin. And there was hope that this Bitcoin ETF would actually provide some more liquidity to the marketplace to make it less volatile. The SEC didn't see it that way and decided to pull out of it. I think the real thing that seems to be moving Bitcoin price is actually trading in China. Most Bitcoin trades place, take place in China. And retail Maybe, investors. Too. Yeah, and it may be a lot of people trying to get money out of China or trying to get assets out of China and using Bitcoin as a way to do it. Do you think that that rampant demand from China is still continuing? I mean, what, what's the overall support for this asset class going I mean, that, that's the understanding that most of the trades, you know, we find out sort of later when trades start to uh, be understood about where the trading was happening. But again, about I've heard seen stats as high as 90% of all Bitcoin trading is taking place in China. And that's probably got nothing to do with the Winkle Vi. I, I, winkle by. What, I what was the driver? The, the, the plural time. Yes. What, what, what was the driver behind the mother ETF? tongue? I'm just. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the driver behind this, I think, again, was, was a function for these guys to try to create some more uh, money. They had they own a the lot US of Bitcoin in terms of trading. And and bring trading of that ETF really to all markets. But it would it would have created a, a, a regular stock exchange proxy for this currency in the way that there are some other proxies for other currencies and gold and so on.